It's your boy Savio back in again with another reaction video and today we are getting into a singer whose name I'm definitely going to butcher so work with me on this. Um, Dimash, Dimash, Ku, Ku, Di, okay. Dimash, that's what we're gonna go with for now. D, D, Dimash, K last name. Uh, I've been recommended this guy a lot. Actually a couple different songs from this guy. But this one the most, this SOS song, I've heard very, very great things about this guy. Several people have told me just verbatim he is the best singer on earth and it's not close, which, whoa, that's a, that's a lot of praise that he brought somebody. Uh, so I'm, I'm curious. I've, I've, we're going to do it. I want to see what D-Mash has to offer because even if he's not, for this many people to be telling me this, this dude has to be a monster. So, um, yeah, I was told that this is on a singing show, um, and he is Middle Eastern, and the singing show is in Asia, and so, I'm, I'm forgetting something there, but there's a whole bunch of different cultures coming together for this performance, so that's interesting. Singing show singers tend to be monsters because they even get on the singing show. They have to kind of go through a tournament that we as the audience don't see to qualify, to even be judged by the singing judges, and then they have to battle out these other monsters who made it through that qualifying round to eventually get to the point where they're on TV and you know they're singing these songs or whatever so i don't expect him to be bad i mean i i don't know if i will be able to say that he is the best singer on earth after just one song but we're gonna see i'm super hyped hopefully you guys are super hyped i've had this song and this singer requested a whole lot so here it is guys without further ado we're gonna get into it leave any other recommendations that you have for things that you'd like me to see down below and i'll see you guys on the other side guys peace Intense. Okay, so I just remembered, remember in the intro I was saying there's like a bunch of cultures coming together and there was one part I was forgetting. I forgot this is in French. So this is this is extra crazy because singing in a another language is way, way harder than people think. Like, yeah, getting the pronunciation of the words and the phrases, and especially when you're taught to sing, you learn techniques on how to pronounce certain vowels to make them sound clear and good. And so to sing in a whole other language is already crazy. He started off in falsetto, so I wanna see where this goes. Uh, I've never heard him talk before, so I'm not sure how low his chest voice is, but uh, this is clearly falsetto because he's a man. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try not to stop every five seconds of this video. Already crazy. So I just talked about like, I don't know where his chest voice is. And then he goes, he drops down into what probably isn't even his chest voice. And he walks his way back up to his head voice or his falsetto. And then he does this like staccato little, if you don't know what staccato is, it's basically like short punchy notes. So if you heard at the very end, I don't I speak French, so I don't know what he was saying. Um, but it was like, um, huh, 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 or something of that nature. And that's staccato. So it's, it's those short 
like glitchy kind of notes versus uh in opposition to that what he was doing earlier is legato so it's like that more like drawn out kind of um staccato is used a lot in um like modern pop music so a lot of people are used to hearing staccato it's very rhythmic versus legato is more i'm singing and it's long and yeah but anyway point is um him transitioning from that legato phrase from way 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 down there all the way up to his falsetto and um just bouncing back and forth between those notes was was great i don't even remember what i stopped for just so far really good like yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> There it is again. Mm. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Hold on. Okay. Whoa! Time out. Coach. Coach. Call all the players in. So. Um, we're not even far into this video yet, so I'm sure that wasn't like the climactic moment of this song, but that was so, so effortless. Oh my God. If you notice, most of this song so far is in what would be his falsetto range, but he seems so comfortable in his falsetto range. There's like no tension in his neck or in his jaw muscles. Um, and when he goes down lower, it's only been for short moments, but it's it's almost like he's more comfortable in that falsetto than in the, the lower range, just based on how just easy and, and without tension that is, which is not common at all for a lot of male singers. A lot of male singers can do falsetto, obviously, but uh, being so at peace in his falsetto shows that he has been singing a long, long long time and he's been putting in the work in that range a lot of singers are especially again male singers are afraid to to spend so much time in that area uh, because it's not easy obviously it's much easier to sing in a range in which you're normally used to talking your vocal cords are very used to making those sounds uh those pitches of sounds but then he went into that like, I don't, I don't wanna say it was full belty, but it was a power note, but it was in a mix. So it wasn't in his falsetto, it wasn't in his chest voice. It was like hovering there in the middle and it had a bunch of vibrato on it. Uh, so his vocal cords were vibrating really quickly um, and it was modulating the sound and it just, it just, it's just, it's good, dog. It's good. Okay. Okay. Like I, you, when y'all recommended this to me, y'all should have known I was going to be talking a lot. Like there's, we're two minutes in and already this man is giving us a, a vocal lesson. Like it just, his technique is crispy, dog. <laughs> Okay, so this is, yes, I know, I just got done talking. This won't be long. This sounds and seems like this is his chest voice. And so, um, again, not a lot of strain or tension, um, but very interesting. So that, that low note that he hit earlier was much lower than his, his chest voice. Um, and then we've already heard him for most of this song be much higher. So this dude's range is crazy. Mood, 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 mood. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, 
I don't, I don't, sorry. I'm not even, wow. Uh, again, same thing. His mix is so, so good. I always say that the hardest vocal range for any singer, male, female, like alien, dog, cat, don't matter. Mix, very difficult to do. Um, and it, that was belty. I said, the, I said the last one wasn't belty. That was belty and just just laid into that mix note just so oh okay all right we're gonna we're gonna keep going because i don't want this video to be eight million years long but oh boy can sing okay he could he's singing you know he's not singing he's singing jesus His breath control in his falsetto is very operatic. Um, and so now, like, I'm curious if, if that's his background, like, if he comes from an opera background, which would somewhat explain, not completely, because the, the dude's a freak, but um, it would somewhat explain his extended range and his comfortability in that falsetto um but like this this dude is singing notes that great like all-time great male singers are uncomfortable to go to just based on where our natural vocal range falls and he's singing it like very easily and his his um, chest voice, as you heard, is like obviously higher than mine, but it's not way higher than mine. Like his chest voice was not sung in a super, super high range for a male. He has a normal range of, of chest voice, but he is so comfortable in that higher register that it's, wow. Wow, I'm I'm gonna need to do some research on this dude because clearly he this is not a oh I'm a really great singer and I work at Starbucks kind of voice. You know what I mean? Like on, on a lot of these shows, you will see people who are really great singers who sing a lot in their free time, you know, go to karaoke nights and whatever. This this is not that. There's not there's nothing wrong with that, but this dude's technique is different. Like Real, like, years under his belt of vocal training. So, um, yeah, okay. Let's, I, I'm, like, ranty ranting today. I just, this guy is, is amazing. Like, he's really amazing. God, wow, okay, I'm sorry. I know that was probably really loud for all of you guys. Uh, we're gonna have to go back because I don't know if there was more at the end of that, but that was, whoa, <laughs> that, that, Jesus. I, headphone users, people with, with old people in the house, I'm, everybody, I'm sorry, that just, whoa, that was, that was insane. Uh, he, wow, um, that note, started out as the same mixed belty note that I've been ranting and raving about this whole time. And then he jumped up an octave into, from his mix into his falsetto, which is hard. It's way, it's not an easy thing to do. There wasn't a break in sound. And so he stepped, I don't, I don't know a perfect way to word it for people who don't get what I'm saying, but he jumped up an octave um, from that original belty mix with all the vibrato I was talking about into a falsetto note. And then he went even higher again. So he did the exact same thing from mix to falsetto, falsetto to, was that a whistle tone? Like crazy. That is, is insane for a grown man to be doing. Like, um, 
not to make this like a gender binary thing. That's a whole separate issue. It's not talking about that. It's just, just from a singing standpoint, men, when we hit puberty, this cute little thing called testosterone makes our ability to sing certain notes much, much harder, like significantly harder. The notes that he's hitting, especially that, that last one, is very, very uncommon for males to, to be able to reach at all, to get close to, um, unless they're like, if you've seen those viral videos of the little kids in the choirs um, who are hitting those like insane notes, they're like seven, which is impressive by the way, but their voice, their vocal range is so much higher at that point than a grown man. I, I can't tell how old he is. He could be 30, 40, 20, 15, I don't know, but he looks like he's hit puberty. So um, his ability to be able to get anywhere near that note is ridiculous, like absolutely ridiculous. Hence my crazy surprise and me blowing out your speakers. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna probably like link real quick a little snippet of what I'm talking about where these little kids are hitting these crazy notes, but notice how old the kids are who are hitting the note versus the other kids in the choir around them. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So like for a grown man to be able to hit that note is redonkulous, like just bananas. Oh. So much breath. Vibrato on this dude, bro. Ooh, interesting. Wow. That whole for again, the the mixed note that I was talking about, that whole phrase, ah, okay, we're, we're going, we're going back, we're, go I, no, I'm sorry, it just, dude's crazy, man. What you gonna give me? Wow. 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 Correct. That's the only correct response. Wow. Okay, so real quickly, before we get into the discussion of if he is the greatest singer on earth or not, let's talk about that ending. The ending was very, very interesting. I expected a super, super powerful ending, like you, as you often see in shows like this, like end on a super power note to blow everybody's heads off. That's not what he did. Now, I've never heard, I don't think, that song before, so I don't know how that song actually ends. But he ended that song in a 
very delicate and emotional not let down as in like it wasn't good but let down as in like bring you back down to earth so he kind of shot us into the stratosphere and then like slowly let us down or guided us back down. that's a better phrase for it guided us down back to to a sense of normalcy wow that was wow i've covered some banana singers on this channel in the year and some change that i've had this channel and that was that was unreal i don't even feel qualified to judge that man like he's he's unreal that just seriously i don't know what kind of background vocal training that he has but clearly a lot it's not just that he was powerful his technique was flawless like he's super skilled i don't know that i know a singer better than him like literally just off that one song that's how impressed i am. i don't think i've ever heard anybody sing better than this man like ever that's that's insane and that's not to say that you know everyone else isn't great but the, the multitude of things that this man was doing was <laughs> like what do you would just off that one song like really i could go back through and probably make an hour long breakdown of all the crazy stuff that he did in that song is i crazy <laughs> just so so crazy i yeah I, you can stop the whole show we don't have to judge him we don't have to see the other singers compete nope give him the prize it's over so when in my videos i'm saying things like the greatest artists on earth aren't the most popular artists i had never heard of this guy before i had this channel and this video that i'm watching only has i say only only has 12 million views eh, almost 13 million views there are songs out there with like 2 billion views on them not to say that those people don't deserve all of that fame and credit but like you get what i'm saying here right like this this dude is is insane. Whatever fame and and awards and credibility he has, it is not enough. Is my point. Especially especially for a male vocalist. The stuff that he was doing is godly. Like it I really I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like that was that was crazy. So, um I'm gonna stop saying wow and crazy. You guys are gonna comment some other stuff that you want me to see. Hopefully you're going to like, share, and subscribe. If not, that's okay too. I'm just happy that you are here to experience this with me because if you've never seen that, you need to. We, me, you, all of us need to go back and watch that again minus all of me talking and just, just listen to it because that was, that was crazy. So without further ado, I will see all of you guys next time. I appreciate you for being here with me on the channel. You guys have a great day.